Okay, so we're now going to create the uh, forward slash subscription page. And basically what this is going to do, obviously it's not uh, available at the moment because we've not created a route for it. What this is going to do is it's going to tell us whether the user is subscribed or not. So we're going to get started very, very slowly with Laravel Cashier. Now, obviously, if we cast our minds back to when we updated our user model, we used the billable trait and we implemented the billable interface. Now, the billable trait contains uh, methods, if we just check this out. It contains lots of methods here that give us all juicy functionality to integrate uh, Stripe into our application and, and do subscription-based stuff and everything like that. So, let's start to create our routes out. And then we'll start to look at how we do this. And bear in mind, we also need to migrate some stuff over as well. At the moment, we've just got our basic fields in our database. So let's go ahead and create a group here. Now, a group, if you're not too sure, is just something that you can group under and do things like prefixing. So I'm going to prefix this under subscription. Now, any routes I create within here will then have the prefix of subscription. So for example, if I do root and I want to get just a forward slash, this is going to be called subscription. And we're going to use here a subscription controller. Um, let's just put that in single quotes. So subscription controller. However, we haven't created this yet. So let's quickly create that. Let's not veer off too much, but we do actually need to create this. So under controllers, let's create a new file here and we'll obviously call this subscription controller. And in here, let's obviously create a subscription controller class and let's extend the base controller. Cool, so that's all done. So what we now want to do is create this get index method and for now let's just return um, subscription just so we can test this out so what's going to happen now is we're going to go to forward slash subscription and then on the root of that that's going to um, use the index uh, method we just created there we go so that's that done and we're going to be doing that with throughout the video because we're going to be adding more routes within this group just to keep everything uh, nice and tidy so what we now want to do is within here we want to actually uh, return a view so let's return a subscription index view now we don't have this either yet so let's create that inside of the views folder we'll create a new folder called subscription and then in here we'll create a new view called index.blade.php and we'll just write sub in there so now that's using the view cool now what i want to do is i want to pass to this view the user or the auth user method and that's going to give us all of the functionality that we need remember because inside of user we're using the trait in here we can then use any of the billable trait functionality under auth user and remember we're already faking a login so we're essentially logged into our application now instead of using auth user over and over again i'm going to store it up here and then I'm going to store this in here. So now you don't have to do this. It's entirely up to you. So I'm going to pass down user, this user, to the subscription index. Now, before we go any further, we need to generate our Laravel cashier migrations. So basically, if we just run PHP Artisan, uh, you can see if we just scroll up, we've got the um, cashier table command that's been generated for us. So what we want to do is we want to run cashier table. Then we want to provide the uh, table um, that we are using for our users. So that's going to go ahead and it's going to generate the uh, migration. We can check that by heading over to database migrations and you can see it here. So it's updating the users table and it's adding all of these fields that are gonna uh, that we saw at the start of the series. So let's just quickly do a PHP artisan migrate. 
and there we go we've migrated it so heading over to SQL Pro we can now see all of these nice fields cool so we're going to modify the stripe active field just as an example just so we can get this to work um, but otherwise this would automatically be updated when you subscribe so we've already created our template our default template so let's extend our default template here and under this we're going to have our content so let's just type in something here just make sure this is all worked cool so it looks like everything's okay perfect so what we want to do now is just do a quick check so I'm gonna say if and I want to check if user remember we pass this down here if user subscribed so you can read about all of the different methods that are available inside of here so for example if we wanted to find out if a user is subscribed we use this so all of the information is on uh, the readme on github so if they are subscribed we want to say something like you're subscribed thanks so like that and otherwise we want to say looks like you're not subscribed and then we're going to have an anchor here which is going to link through and uh, obviously allow the user to join so we'll say join now now that's not going to work at the moment because I've not added any link in there but there we go looks like you're not subscribed join now if we modify the stripe active field to one uh, this will obviously happen for us uh, default later you see that we get this message but what we've done now then is in fact let's just turn this back to zero what we've done now is we've we've used one of the methods on our user model to actually check if a user is subscribed or not so this is the first step in looking at how we can do all the checks and all the necessary checks like I said they're all documented here but what we're going to do next is actually look at actually allowing the user to hit join now enter their credit card details, be redirected back here, and be subscribed.